The other thing that's interesting here is the way we irrigate, if you go to Chile or Argentina, you'll notice that a lot of the vineyards are irrigated what we call flood irrigation. So they'll actually bring the water, will actually run in a trough beside the vineyards. But what we do here is we actually run hoses down by the vine and we have little drippers uh, that allow the water to fall out in any particular location that we want uh, near the vine. We choose not to put it right on the base of the vine because if we put it right here, we'll find the roots really develop a real big ball around where that dripper would be. So we tend to put the drippers between the vines so the roots will actually go out and fight for that water and put a little bit more stress on them and make them better. And while I'm here, you'll notice that the dirt, or what we have on top, is just little, uh, this, is, this is pruning wood from last year, so we tend to mulch that in and actually brings back more organic matter. You'll also notice that we have a complete cover of grass in the vineyard row. This is another way that we can work with sustainable viticulture by allowing this grass to die off in the summer, it allows for better water penetration in the fall when we start to get rain. You can imagine if we cut or we um, disked all this grass matter in, you can imagine that the humus layer or the organic layer would gradually start to get broken down and we wouldn't be able to get enough water penetration during the fall season. That's so important for a future root growth as the vines move into the following season.